Hey guys, it's Zoe. So today, well, tonight it's 8.45, um, because I'm old, I'm like literally an old person, I'm going to bed at 9, 15 minutes, so I better make this quick. Um, but tonight, I guess, today, whenever you're watching this, I'm doing accents, because I have so many of them. Obviously, if you know me, you know that is not true, so I'm gonna do some accents. This is for fun. I was watching a bunch of YouTubers, and they all had different accents, so I was like, yeah, hey, I should try some. So, <laughs> I don't know, this is probably gonna suck, but to do this, I'm going to read my favorite book, Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone, Philosopher's Stone, if you live in the UK. I think literally anywhere but America. I don't know about that. But, yeah, let me show you my accents. We'll, we'll see how this goes. <clears throat> Chapter one, The Boy Who Lived. Mr. and Mrs. Dursley of number four, Privet Drive, were very proud to say that they were perfectly normal. Normal. That is a word. Yes. Were perfectly normal, thank you very much. They were the last people you'd expect to be involved in anything strange or mysterious because they just didn't hold with such nonsense. Mr. Dursley was the director of a firm called Grunnings, which made drills. He was a big beefy man with hardly any neck, although he did have a very large moustache. Mrs. Dursley was thin and blonde and nearly twice and had nearly twice the usual amount of neck. <clears throat> which came in very useful as she spent so much of her time craning over garden fences, spying on the neighbors. <coughs> the Dursleys had a small son called Dudley, and in their opinion, there was no finer boy anywhere. So, that was a British accent. So, that's it, that's all the accents I have. I have my normal speaking voice and I have a British accent. Do not ask me to do anything else because it's gonna suck. I can do like a really bad southern drawl, but it's like really cartoony and bad and weird and whatever, so I'm not, I'm not gonna embarrass myself <clears throat> for the sake of saving my self-esteem and saving embarrassment, I don't know. Um, yeah, hope you enjoyed this. Now you know I can do a British accent. This was fun. I haven't posted a video in like months, so I figured, hey, why not? Accents, even though I can only do one. <laughs> yeah, so cool. Bye. Carry on my wayward son. There'll be peace when you are done. Lay your weary head to rest. Don't you cry no more.